Uh, I don't think that the end of the Manu River was uh, as a new era of peace. Why do I think so? I think the peace that we made uh, across the board, uh, whether in Liberia, Sierra Leone, Cote d'Ivoire, uh, or even the changes that we've seen in Guinea, uh, they are not a reflection of uh, people's peace. This, is, this has been based on elite peace. Uh, the, the indications that certain parts of the processes uh, that led to the sort of peace we have today, uh, you know, involved people. But by and large, ordinary West Africans remain far removed from the centers of power, uh, from, from elite uh, systems that do not typically respond. Uh, in fact, they do not respond naturally to the needs of ordinary people. They respond to the needs of our ordinary people just as an afterthought. I mean, I'm observing this generally across the board. It's not to say that there isn't a measure of stability, but I think it will take a while. We need some kind of transformation still in order to have that confidence that we truly have uh, a piece of the people of West Africa. Well, I'm thinking from the point of view of Ivory Coast, uh, where a, uh, a civil war, which had been preceded by a rebellion, ended in 2011. And right now, the question is the extent to which the current regime can placate uh, supporters of the former regime and make them feel like their political uh, goals are, are being heard, because they now feel excluded. So the question is, uh, can uh, there be a new era of, of reconciliation of the former tensions that led to the rebellion and subsequent civil war in the country? And I think it's an open question. There are several dynamics to the Mano River Union War. If those dynamics are well understood, and are integrated into the political and economic development of the Mano River uh, countries, then the war would be over. But for now, um, we are still saddled with the various political dynamics, ethnic dynamics, uh, which inform the development of these countries.